Let's talk about two different ways that you can test the stability of your emulsions at home. So if you are somebody who creates cosmetics just for yourself, I really don't think it's necessary to test your emulsions. If they hold up long enough for you, I mean, you're your own guinea pig. I think that's all that matters. But if you are selling cosmetics, I cannot stress how important it is to do stability testing. You don't know what's gonna happen once your product is in your consumer's hand. So all this information that I'm talking about comes from makingcosmetics.com and I'll link down below to where I found the information. They have a lot more information on stability testing and just overall just cosmetic formulating advice, but I'm just gonna be sharing the two methods. The first method is cycle testing. So the product should pass three cycles of temperature testing from negative 10 degrees Celsius, about 14 degrees Fahrenheit, so your freezer should be cold enough, to 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And you want to do this three times and keep the product at each temperature for 24 hours. So put your product in the freezer for 24 hours, take it out, keep it at room temperature for 24 hours, put it back in the freezer for 24 hours, back at room temperature for 24 hours, back in the freezer and back at room temperature. So do it three times. And if it passes this, then there's a pretty good chance that your product's gonna have some pretty good stability. And then they also go on to explain that you can do an even more rigorous test. So this one's the one I would recommend. You want to do at negative 10 degrees Celsius. So again, your freezer should be fine. And then you need to put it at 45 degrees Celsius. This is like, I think like 115 degrees Fahrenheit roughly. So you will need an incubator for this. And if you're selling cosmetics, I do recommend investing in an incubator. That way you can do these tests at home. Um, I will link down below to the incubator that I have, but you will want to do freezer 24 hours, incubator at 45 degrees Celsius, 24 hours, and do this back and forth five times. This is a more rigorous test, and if it passes this, it indicates that you have really good stability. So this next testing they talk about is a centrifuge test, and they go on to explain that the dispersed phase of the oil and water emulsion, and we've talked about this in past videos, the dispersed phase is the oil phase. It has a tendency to separate out and settle on the top of the product, and they explain that this is called creaming. And creaming is the first sign of a emulsion failing. And you can do a centrifuge test to see if creaming will occur in your emulsion. And they even explain that the centrifuge test specifically is extremely necessary for powdered, uh, like products with powders in them, like color cosmetics, like foundations and uh, liquid and cream makeup. Foundations, those have a bunch of pigments in them and they tend to separate out pretty easily. So if you do a centrifuge test, you will be able to figure out if those are gonna separate out. Um, anyways, what you want to do is heat your emulsion to 50 degrees Celsius. This is 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And put your emulsion in one of your test tubes. I'll link down below to the centrifuge I have and the test tubes that I have. So heat up your emulsion, put it in the test tubes, and put it in your centrifuge at 3000 RPM and keep it there for 30 minutes. And afterwards you want to inspect it, see if there is any creaming occurring. And that's, that's how you'll know if your emulsion is stable. That's another method. All of this information comes from makingcosmetics.com. Link to the specific page where I read all this down below. And they do sell cosmetic ingredient supplies. So if you want to purchase some ingredients to formulate with, check out their collection. They have a lot of unique stuff. And I noticed they specifically have a lot of things for colored cosmetics. They also offer like so many different example formulas. This video is not sponsored by makingcosmetics.com. Um, I just buy from them a lot and I use their website for information purposes pretty often. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there are a ton of videos you can go over there and binge watch for only $5 a month. 
And for $10 a month, you can get a small business shout out or maybe you have a YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and shout everybody out. Nature's Farm Girl, thank you so much. Let's Blend, thank you. Hempygirl.com, shoplevies.com or shoplevies.com. Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, at Black Petal Beauty on Instagram, Owl and Lily on Etsy, Zayalamore.com, I hope I said that right, EmbraceBeautyEssentials.com, LegendaryBathAndBody.com, at Stardust Bath and Body on Instagram, AstariApothecary.com, and Revega Cosmetics here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for being a patron. Go sign up if you want a shout out or if you just want bonus content. The shout out tier might be full. It's full pretty often because I only have so much space in the description box to link to everybody.